Hello viewers, you are welcome again to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn something useful, and that is how to wire a photo cell through a contactor to a number of street lights. Okay, so why would we want to connect a photo cell with a contactor? Good. When you have to control many lamps automatically, you can use just one photo cell and a contactor to control all those lamps instead of providing one photo cell for each lamp. So for instance, you have a very large number of street lights to install and you want all these street lights to come on when there is darkness. So normally, the normal practice is that each street light comes with its own photo cell. Well, you can use just one photo cell and then a contactor to control all those lamps. So, in this video, we will learn how to connect one photo cell to a contactor to control many lamps or loops, irrespective of the power rating of the photo cell. The only precaution you need to take here is to make sure that the contactor is rated high enough to be able to take care of all the loops that you will be connecting to it. Alright, so, the materials we need for this wiring is a contactor, and then a photo saw, and of course, our street light. So in this case, I'm using just one street light to represent many street lights. So in this video, this is our numerous street lights that we are going to connect to this contactor. So in this arrangement, we are going to have a control circuit and then a power circuit. So the control circuit will be the connection from the photo saw to the coil of the contactor and then our power circuit will be the power supply to the contactor and then our load will be connected to the other side of the contactor all right so now let's do the connection this video is purposely to show how to connect the photo cell to the contactor if you want to know how to connect the photo cell itself to a light directly i have a very comprehensive video on that which I have shared the link under this video. Right. So from our photo cell we have two conductors one is live and one is neutral. When we take the contactor also we have the contactor coil with terminals E1 and then E2. So here we have live to E1 and then neutral to E2. We are done with the control circuit so we move on with the power circuit. These are our supply cables for the power circuit connection. The size of these cables will have to be carefully selected depending on the number of loops that will be connected at the output of the contactor. All right, so here, these cables are going to connect directly from supply to the contactor. Okay, so on the contactor, we have line one, line two, and then line three, or one, three, and then five. Then at the output, we have terminal one, terminal two, terminal three, or two, four, six. Live from the supply will connect to L1 here. Then neutral from supply will connect to L2. And then our circuit protective conductor will connect to L3. All right, so T1, T2, and T3 will now be the output to the loops. So for the lamps or loops, all the live connections will come to terminal one here. And then all the neutral connections will come to terminal two. Then all the circuit protective conductor connections will come to terminal three. All right, so our wiring is done. So in this case, this one lamp is used to represent a lot of lamps, which will need to be powered from the contactor. We can also take the live to the photo cell from L1 here, and then, we take neutral to the photo cell from L2 here. All right, so what happens is that 
We have supply cables that are connected from the supply to the contactor. And then when the contacts close, then power will continue to flow from the supply cables to the loads. So now what this Putisol is doing is only to supply power to the core. And the amount of current that is required to power the core is just some small amount of power. So the Putisol will energize the coil, and then the main current that is needed for the various lamps or the load will now be carried from the supply directly to the load when the contactor closes. So this is also controlled by darkness. So when darkness falls, the contactor closes to connect the incoming supply to the load. Okay. So, darkness, light. Darkness, light. All right, so simply, this is how to connect a photo cell to a contactor to supply many lamps. Thank you very much for watching this video. Share the video to others and also subscribe to stay connected. See you in my next video.